Hey guys, hey collective, how you guys doing? Welcome to my channel, Divine True Tarot. I'm your reader, Renetta, and we are going to tap into the energies of the collective's person. We're going to get a general energy on how they're feeling towards the collective, and then we're going to get the, what are their, <clears throat> excuse me, we are going to get their true intentions towards the collective, and we are going to get some actions that they want to take towards the collective, okay? All right, my loves, please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless, okay? All right, collective, let's see. What is Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the tool of tarot for the highest good of the collective. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will give me clear and precise messages through my archangels, my spirit guides, my ancestors, and the heavenly white beings of love and light. Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll protect me and my energies and the energies of the collectors as we open ourselves up to exchange with the messages sent from above. In the name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen. All right, collective, let's see. How is your, your person feeling towards you, collective? Let's just hop right on in. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels, what is the collective's person feelings towards the collective okay here we have we have temperance patience somebody is trying to hold back some anger here this is also too giving me the energy if they want to make peace in the situation okay this is after an argument a fight they want to invest in this connection here it could be a sagittarius or something could have happened in Sagittarius season, but they want to bring peace within this connection. They're being very patient with coming around with an apology is what I'm feeling. Yeah, your person wants to apologize to you with this temperance energy. Mm -hmm. They don't want no more smoke. Nope. Holy Spirit, let's see. What are the collective's person intentions towards the collective? Okay, we have two popping out here. Look at this beautiful sunshine. I just had to record right here. I mean, it's just fabulous. Look at that ray of sunshine. Where is it right here? Yeah, look at that ray of sunshine right there. Ain't that beautiful? Okay, collective. Their intentions towards you, collective, is booyah. Here we go with the magician. They got some type of enlightenment. That crown chakra is litty. Mm-hmm. They want to manifest you back or want to manifest this connection here again. And then we have choose your battles. Okay, this is why they're being patient with you. Yes. They are aware that there was some type of action that they have taken that has caused this disconnect, that has caused this argument, this separation here. Now they want to come back. Now they want to come back. It's making me feel as though they want to fight for this connection again. Mm -hmm. They are aware that this is not going to be easy. This is why they're being patient with you in the situation. Because there are some challenges and battles that you guys have to overcome here. And they're trying to manifest a positive outcome between you in them okay holy spirit what actions are they going to take towards the collective what actions are they going to take towards the collective holy spirit holy angels that's way too many love <laughs> that's way too many let's let's cut that down to one okay one more shuffle i heard you thank you thank you win or lose Hmm. Some of you guys, your person is just throwing caution to the wind, but they're being very pessimistic about the outcome that they desire when they come to you to talk to you. This is the five of swords energy. This is the action that they're trying to take towards you. And with this choose your battles, 
You know what? It's making me feel as though they, they want to bring some smoke. They trying to figure it out. They don't want to right now, but they're like lying in wait to come at you with some type of information or some type of argument or something that is going to make them be seen in a, in a better light. This is some type of lie. This sword is down. Manipulation is here. Yeah, they waiting to see. Yeah, it's like they're trying to come up with some type of story about the reason why they either did what they did or said what they said. At the bottom of the deck, we have confront the moon energy. I told you it was a lie here. Uh-huh. With this five of swords energy and this moon energy, this person is trying to manifest a lie in order to win a, win a battle or a fight that you guys had be between the two of you. Mm -hmm. I just seen five, five, five on the clock. You guys are not together. You guys have broken up. There's changes and rearranges when it comes to this connection here. Mm -hmm. It's making me feel like your person you guys had an argument, your person couldn't come with the comeback, or you could have told your person some type of truth about a lie that they was trying to feed you, and they didn't have no answers for it, they didn't have no comeback for it, so they're going to sit here patiently, patiently taking their time to come up with some type of scheme, some type of lie, some type of plan in order to get you to get back in uh, I was just saying, to let them back in your good graces or to get back together with you. Because you guys have broken up, you guys are not even speaking to each other right at this moment here, okay? Because of this argument that you guys had that broke you up, some type of truth about a lie came out. And so now they're trying to come up with another lie that could clarify the last lie that they told you in the first place. This motherfucker here. <laughs> Honey, boom, you work, you got, this one is a piece of work. It's making me feel like with this five of swords and this magician, they are habitual liar. Uh -huh. Very selective and strategic. Okay, this is a, this is a master manipulator here. Winning at all costs, choose your battles wisely. Yeah, they trying to come back. They trying to plan a comeback. Either to make themselves look a certain way or to be received in a certain way making you it's starting to make me feel like they want to make you feel like you're crazy because you know the truth about them and they still trying to convince you or still try to hold on to this lie that they told you they do not want to admit the truth even though you done already told them they like uh-uh uh-uh, no it isn't, no it isn't, honey. You could have showed them the video. You could have um, played them the audio of what was said that proved your point, and they still gonna lie to your face and say, uh-uh, no it isn't, that ain't me. All on the video, caught on camera. <laughs> and they still gonna say that wasn't me. That's the type of energy this person is operating in. Damn, okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what can you tell me about this temperance energy? Okay. For some of you guys, this is what I'm getting to. For some of you guys, collective, yeah, this person know not to fuck with you no more or come back. They don't. They know not to come back to you or come back to you with a lie. Okay. Whatever plan of action that they're planning to take towards you, they know they need to think twice about their actions when it comes to you. I heard lying and wait, patiently waiting. They know that this conversation can turn into an argument, so they wanna be prepared with what to say when you come hit them with that truth about a lie, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about this temperance energy? Okay, they want to bring peace to the situation, but it's coming through a lie. 
okay? It's like they want to lie on, they want to put a lie on top of a lie in order to bring peace to this connection or this situation. What can you tell me about the patience, Holy Spirit? We have King of Cups and the Ten of Swords. This person is hurting. Yep, this person know that they have lied about something that they was betraying you with. Yep, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh-huh, there is no new opportunity here. We are the magician in the reverse. I told you this was a fucking liar. Okay, they lying. Straight up. Master manipulator. Yes. This person, they, they mastered their emotions, so therefore they could manipulate you with these these, 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 these lies that they have, they could be lying to you about how they feel about you. Okay. Lying to your face, how much they love you, but they have this ten of swords energy here with this, with this magician. Yeah. They know that, that this, they know that this lie has brought an end to this connection here. Now they're in their feelings. Now, now they want to have some type of control over their feelings, but they was reckless in the past with how they dealt with you okay they know that this lie devastated you and now they want to come and fix it with another lie thinking that's going to work thinking that's going to make you feel better about the lie that you done already caught them in i heard total devastation what else can you tell me nine of cups in reverse their wishes are not being fulfilled Van this ten of swords energy. Yeah, this is guilt and regret here. They also too could be an alcoholic or drinking too much because of this ten of swords energy. You know, they just feel completely devastated about the lie that they tried to tell you, but you told them to their face the truth about that lie. And it's like, oh fuck. I really lost them now. Mm, mm, mm. This person is unhappy. This person is unsettled here. This person is trying to hide. Just how unhappy they are. They're not going to tell you this. This is that, that truth about a lie. They could pretend like they are okay with this breakup, but they're not. Emperor energy. See what I'm saying? Didn't I tell you master manipulator? Now we have Aries out here very strong. This can happen in Aries season. We have water energy out here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, your person, they 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 are um a, an emotional manipulator here. Yeah. They are an emotional manipulator here. They're unhealed, okay? These lies get the falling out their mouth when they drunk. Okay? This person is also too drunk on power. This is somebody that um is a control freak. Okay? If they don't this is also too somebody that if they don't get their way, They'll make sure that you'll pay. Because you didn't believe this lie, this person is making sure that they can find a way to make you pay. And it's through emotional manipulation. This is why they're trying to choose their balance wisely. With this man, this uh, magician here. Mm-hmm. It's like, and like I, t like I said, lying in wait, trying to plan some type of course of action to get you to believe the lie that they had told you because they want to say a face. They are control freak. They want to control how you feel or how you think about them. Okay. Very arrogant. Feeling very entitled here. Mm. Honey boom. This one right here is a handful. Okay. They believe their own lies. Okay. What is this? The Knight of Wands. This person is non-committal. They in and out of your energies here. This is another tactic of their control. They could come and go as they please. This is why they keep telling you these lies that they get mad at you that you don't believe because you hit them with the truth about the lie and then they're going to try to make you pay because you done told them the truth about some old bullshit that they was trying to kick to you. Chariot energy at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person is reckless. This person is reckless because they're unhealed. They're hurt, okay? This is a master manipulator of emotions here. Why? Because they still have something unhealed in them. This person is unstable here, 
okay? This person go off and they follow their passions. They are not, they don't have no type of discipline here. They have a lot of control. They want to be a contr in control of everything, but they're not disciplined to nothing. This person, they, 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 they get drunk off of power and control, how people look at them, what people say about them. It affects them tremendously. What can you tell me? Seven of Wands, very defensive here. You are standing up to this person. Yes, you are standing up to this person. We have the Page of Pentacles here in the world. This, this connection is coming to a close. Very slowly but surely, this connection is coming to a close here, okay? Because you're going after something that is more solid and more stable. You're standing your ground up against this emperor here. Mm-hmm. You're not taking that shit. You're not going to let them just go ahead and continue to feed you frivolous lies and shit. And you stand there and, and, and believe them and, and, and try to see things from their point of view or perspective or something like that. This is you saying no to this bullshit. You are very protected too as well. Yeah. You're standing up to this person. Collective. You're not taking that bullshit anymore. What else can you tell me? You're healing from this connection here. Four source energy. Air energy is here. Yeah. Some of you guys need a mental break from this person here. This is why you're standing up blocking this person. Yeah. Mental break. Ace of swords at the bottom of the deck. Uh-huh. Clarity. This is a mental break here. The Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. You're trapped in your, 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 your uh, um, um, head. You're trapped in your head about the truth that came out, and it threw you into this Nine of Swords energy collector. And this is you needing that mental break, okay? Because you know the truth. You know the truth. What else can you tell me? You know the truth about this person, and they just keep feeding you bullshit. You're retracting your energies because you already know the truth. You went inside of yourself to find out the truth. You used your intuition. You were also, too, divinely guided. When you go into hermit energy, you're going into yourself and into the most high God. To the most high God, I should say. There's nobody but you and God in this hermit energy. And you pulled your energies back from this connection. Why? Because you needed a mental break, a spiritual break, too. This person was breaking your spirits here because they kept feeding you. Frivolous lies here. You shine the light on that shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, Virgo energy. You could be a Virgo. Look, sadness, guilt, and regret this one here because you shined the light on their bullshit. And you retracted your energies with this, with this four swords and this hermit. Yeah, you're not talking to this person. You're not even letting this person come around you. You're not checking on them. You're not asking about them. You're not doing nothing to keep up with them. This is why they feel like they need to tell another lie on top of the lie that you done already told them the truth about. This person is delusional. Yeah, they want to work on this connection because they feel the regret and the guilt about lying to you. Bold-faced lying about something that, I mean, I'm not picking up the energy of what that lie. What a, let's ask, what was that lie? What's that lie? What they lying about? That's, I'm not seeing it yet. Okay? They could be lying about what they did for work or something like that. They lie about being married or committed. <laughs> or they lied about <laughs> marrying you and they didn't do it. Okay? Putting you off, telling you, oh, we're going to do it this date or we could do it this year. And when this year comes, it don't happen. Why? Because they were committed elsewhere. Taurus energy. This person could be a Taurus, but they were committed elsewhere. Five of Swords. You see what I'm saying? We have Five of Swords out here twice with the Ten of Swords. They didn't want to tell you that you was the side chick and they were committed elsewhere, but they was just going through some old bullshit or some old fight or some old breakup that they were having with their wife or their significant other. Knight of Cups. Now they want to come in and apologize. Uh-huh. Yeah. They're reconciling with their person. We have the Knight of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. This is what they're hiding. This is that 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 lie that they're trying to feed you, that they didn't reconcile with the person that they were married to, that they were fighting with. 
they went back to their to their spouse or to their significant other and they do not want you to know about it this is why they want to put a lie on top of a lie because this motherfucker here is an emotional manipulator mm, mm, mm. oh jesus holy spirit all right let's get into it holy spirit what can you tell me about the intentions of the collective's person towards the collective what can you tell me about their intentions? What can you tell me about their intentions, please, and thank you? Temperance here. You see what I'm saying? They don't want to let you go. They want to smooth things over. They want to heal this with you. We have temperance out here twice. This person is not stable. Okay? This person is reckless, like I'm saying. When you have tempers out here twice, there is something that's out of control here. Something that's unstable, that is not clicking, not connecting. This is anxiety energy here. And they really, really, really want you to believe this lie just so they can have some type of balance or peace of mind in their own self about telling you this lie about them going back to their who significant other their wife their baby mama something somebody they have children with or something of the sort a family dynamic here look page of cups want to come and apologize start something new with you after you done uh <laughs> disconnected from them with this harmony and four source energy here uh-huh they waiting for the right time to come back and apologize and offer you this page of cups here and they feel as though that is going to bring balance back into this connection with you and them. Mm -hmm. What else can you tell me about their intentions, Holy Spirit? What else can you tell me about their intentions? Judgments. Some type of powerful realization is here. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's that wake-up call. Uh-huh. Ten of Pentacles is making me realize it's making me feel like they realize that they they um they have it better at home. Um I'm, 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 yeah, this is reconciliation too. They want some of them want to reconcile with you because you went hermit on them. Okay, they want to smooth things over with this Ten of Pentacles here. They feel they see a future with you, they want to take a leap of faith with you, but they still lying about walking away from their other connection, about walking away from this, this marriage and this higher level commitment. We had a Ten of Pentacles with the fool. They want to take that leap of faith with you and start something new, start a family, you know, start that, that legacy building, that long-term committed relationship. But then with the Seven of Swords, they lying about the Eight of Cups walking away from who? The Hierophant, somebody that they have a higher level commitment to. This is why I said this one right here is a master manipulator here and a habitual liar. What else can you tell me, spirit, about the intentions of the persons of the per, of the collective's person towards the collective? Excuse me. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? The Ace of Cups. The Sun, Leo energy. The Six of Cups. They're in love with you. They want to invest in this connection here, but it's making me feel like they cannot let go of their past connection or who they are, are actually committed to. They see happiness with you with the Sun and the Ace of Cups. They see that you can have this new blissful beginning here. Okay, they're very nostalgic here. Okay, but with the Six of Cups and this Ace of Cups, that's the Seven of Cups. That's illusions and delusions. This is why I said this one is a master manipulator here. Their intentions is to have this Ace of Cups with you to smooth things over here. But they are, they, they happy with the person that they, they have a family with. Okay, I mean, it's, it's like they want their cake and eat it too. This is that lie on top of a lie to clear up, the, the lie on top of a lie to clear up the truth about a lie. They can want to have children with you, or they could be wanting to come into connection with you because they see you as having children with them, something of the sort. They feel stuck and trapped. They feel left out in the cold. This person is, 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 is they don't know what they want. 
this is an up and down energy. They don't know if they, if, if it's making me feel like, okay, this is what I'm getting. Once you shut down on that ass, now they understand how much they really love you. But because they already went back to their significant other, they don't know what to do with you. So this is why they're going to put a lie on top of a lie in order, in, um, order to smooth things over for you or over with you so they can have this brand new beginning in love that they are so found fond about, I should say. They found love. Oh, shit. They found love. They found love with you, connect Collective. But they lied about going back to a past person. Baby mama, wife, significant other. Yep. That's what's here. You know, it's, it's making me feel like y'all not, of course you're not talking, but you don't want to have nothing to do with this person. But this emperor energy, that is a married man. That's a father figure, especially with the six of cups. And it's page of cups, yeah. They were not getting their wishes fulfilled. So they, they broke up with their significant other. They met you, fell in love with you. But they, you found out the truth about a lie, about them being married, or about them having um, a, a family somewhere else. So you cut that ass off. You went ghost. You went silent on them. And after you did that, now they understand awareness. Choose your battles wisely. Now they understand that they have a connection with you, but you're not letting them in. So this is why they feel they have to put a lie on top of another lie to smooth things over because you found out the truth about the first lie. Dang. This one right here is an emotional manipulator. Uh-huh. What else can you tell me? Two of cups. Damn. This is a soulmate connection. This is why they're feeling so heavily and so strongly towards you. Okay? King of Pentacles at the bottom of the day. Wanting to build that family. Uh-huh. Waiting to see if they can have a passionate new beginning with you. With this three of wands and this four of, I mean, this three of wands and this ace of wands. They're waiting to see if they can have a passionate new beginning with you. And with the three of wands and the ace of wands, that's the four of wands. They want a stable, solid foundation with you. This one not playing. This one is making me feel like this person has decided that they want to be with you, but they just can't not get to you because of the betrayal of the lie that they have told you. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. With this soulmate energy. Yeah, they want to have this soulmate connection with you. They are deeply in love with you and, they, and you truly make them happy. They have fond memories of the times that you guys were together. Yeah. But, but you walked away with the two of cups and the six of cups. They walked away from you and went back to somebody that they had children with or somebody that from their past that they had a connection to, a soulmate connection to as well. But now they want to come back and start this new connection with you. Now they got the wake up call of who it is that they truly love. It's making me feel like this person feel as though it's too late because you went hermit on the ass. Okay? They probably don't even know where you are. They don't know how to contact you. Okay, they're very sad and upset, but they're going to take charge. They're going to take some type of action towards you, Collective. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it, but you're very defensive. You got this person blocked because you needed, heal, you needed to heal. You needed your own peace of mind and heal from this lie that they have told you because it really hurts your heart. This, you're looking up at these three of swords, laying on this ace of swords, which, this, which is the truth. But you're still in this three of swords energy. That's why the hermit energy is here. You still hurt behind this. You still need to heal. And that's what you're doing. And that's how you do it. Okay? What else can you tell me? Here we have that devil energy. That father of lies. Capricorn energy. They're, ooh. They are obsessing. With the sun and the devil. They are obsessing over you. Wow. It's a burning desire to be with you. Damn, this person craves you. They're longing for you. What else can you tell me? Six of Pentacles don't want, they want equal reciprocity here. 
They don't see how they could do this with this two of swords energy. So they're not going to do nothing. They're thinking about coming towards you, but they don't know how. So therefore, they're not going to do nothing until they get some type of truth or some type of clarity that they need to take this blindfold off to see how they could come and approach you again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're holding back. They're holding back from moving forward. Okay, with the four of pentacles and the chariot energy, cancer energy is here. Okay, so yeah, they're holding back until they could get some type of clarity on how to move forward towards you. Okay, yeah, but they have a burning desire. Oh my goodness, it's like it's overwhelming for this person. Okay, this person is lusting over you as well. Yeah, but this person really feel that the only way they could get back in your good graces is if they tell you a lie on top of another lie that you found out the truth about. They don't know what to do. They feeling desperate to get back into your energies, to get back in your bed. To get back into your energies, to get back into your love. Clarify this devil, Holy Spirit. Clarify this devil. Because it's starting to make me feel as though with this emperor and this devil, with the magician here, the nine of cups in reverse, this person is going to do something very drastic if they don't get you back. If they don't get another opportunity, they're going to do something very drastic here. And I'm not liking this energy. What's this devil? Let's see what they're going to do. What, okay, what's the devil? Thank you. The moon energy. You see what I'm saying? There's still secrets and lies here. Things need to be revealed with this devil. Somebody could be doing dark magic or black magic. This person could be doing this to you because you won't let them back in. Mm-hmm. Because it, it, there's still secrets and lies here. They don't want you to know about something. They don't want you to know the truth about this lie. This is why they're going to put another lie on top of the lie that you know the truth about. They want, they still want to keep things hidden from you. Mm, mm, mm. This person could be having nightmares about what they have did to this connection. Sleepless nights is what I'm seeing. Very sad. Very sad. What is the secret they're keeping? We already know. But why are they keeping this a secret? We got a seven of cups in reverse. They made their choice. They're not confused anymore. You're not confused anymore. You know the truth about this secret. Yeah, they, they know. They done made a choice. But they don't want to tell you yet. Yep, with this King of Swords and this King of Wands, oh, you damn right, they made a choice. They made a choice. They're not letting you know right now. Okay, there is no other option but you, Collective. There is no other option but you. Mm hmm But this person still got secrets. Are they keeping this hidden and waiting for the right time in order for them to come in and tell you this? Yeah, they're waiting for the right time in order for them to come in and tell you this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're not confused anymore. This is also, too, you're not confused about this secret that they're trying to keep. You know the truth about the, about the lie. I mean, come on. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the actions that this person is going to take towards the collective? What actions is the collective person going to take towards them? The strength energy. Mm, gathering their strength. Being brave. Being brave to do what? Come in this solid offer here. Mm -hmm. Look, win or lose, throwing caution to the wind. Let me tell you with this five of swords energy. It's that fucking lie, I'm telling you. Win or lose, they somehow, some way, they're gonna they're gonna win you over. Uh-huh. Being very brave and very strong. Leo energy tower moment is here at the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. Yep, because this connection was built on a faulty, faulty foundation here. Uh-huh. Came crumbling down. Uh-huh. So making me feel like they were stuck in some cycle. They feel like they were stuck. They couldn't do anything about this tower falling. Okay? This upheaval in you guys' connection. 
But they, they're, they're coming towards you confidently. Okay? Yeah. Being brave. Putting they big boy pants on. Or big or um big girl panties, you know. <laughs> All right, what other actions that the collector's person is going to take towards the collector? Hey man, they're not doing it. They're not doing it. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting to see with the hangman and the knight of pentacles. That's some slow moving ass energy because they gotta gain their confidence in order to come back towards you. They're looking back towards you. Okay, they're not looking forward, they're looking back towards you. This 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 strength energy is looking back. This hangman energy is looking forward. They're not making any moves yet until they gain some type of clarity on what to do and how to do it. Mm-hmm. All right. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? What else can you tell me? Yeah, this person, they uh they they're they're strategizing their ass off. Okay. They strategizing their ass off. Eight of Wands. There's some type of communication that's going to come in. Some type of action that they're going to take towards you and t when, they give, when they gain the confidence that they need. Uh-huh. Ace of Pentacles. They coming in with this brand new offer. Yes. Of, of a new beginning. I like the Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. This is a solid offer that they coming in with. Because they feel rejected. They feel like they rejected the one true love that they have. Like I told you, after you shut them down and you rejected them, now they see that big ass cup of love that the uni that the divine was trying to give them. The universe was trying to hand over to them. But they had a third party situation here, okay? That third party situation they went back to. It could be their wife, ex-wife, baby mother, significant other, Okay? But they did not want you to know that they tried to reconnect with that energy or that person over there in the past. And you found out the truth. And you told them about it. And you shut that ass down. Now they realize they love her or him. Okay. If I say her, him, he, she, put the characters where they may. I don't know your story. I'm just reading the energy here, baby. You know how it fits in your story. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's see, what else can you tell me about the actions that the collector's person is going to take towards the collective? The tower. Okay, 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 okay. We had a four of wands. Okay, 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 okay. We had a two of wands. Okay, okay. They, look, let me tell you, they, that, 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 that past connection that they went back to, that, that ex-lover, ex-wife, baby mama, that's a wrap. Okay, that's a wrap. We have the tower and the four of wands. Okay. Something has gotten destroyed here. A marriage, a connection, a home, a, a solid foundation. With this tower energy, the actions that they're going to take towards you is they they're going to come blue this what they built with somebody else. And this two of wands, they're going to take action towards you. So whatever connection that they were in, that they went back to, that you found out the truth about, that shit's a wrap. It is a wrap. They, they're, they're, they're going to disconnect from that connection in order to come towards you. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, they feel stuck. They can't stop thinking about you. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Justice. They, they don't know how to come towards you to, 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 to balance out this, 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 the energies between you. So with this Page of Pentacles in the reverse, they don't have nothing to offer at the moment until they can either get a divorce with this Justice energy or they need to let this tower fall with the person that they build a family or a home with because they realize that they are in love with you in order for them to move forward towards you. Yeah, this person, is, is they, they're stuck in this connection until they could get that divorce and they're not offering you anything because they want to be clear away from this connection in order to come back to, towards you correct. Yeah. Some of you guys could have caught them in a lie again. That's why they lie on top of a lie. But it's because they have to deal with this other situation and this other connection in order to clear the 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 um space for you to come in and they have this brand new beginning in love with you. Mhm. Mm yeah. 
It's like they're embarrassed to tell you or ashamed to tell you that they tried to go back to an ex or they tried to work it out with an ex while they, they were with you or something of the sort. They didn't know which one to choose. I'm hearing. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Seven of Pentacles. They want to invest in this connection here. Uh-huh. They see the work. They want to invest and put the energy and the effort into it with this Seven of Pentacles and this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to work on this. They want to put the time, energy, and effort to make this work with you, Collective. Uh-huh. But they got burdens and responsibilities. They feeling overburdened. Uh-huh. They're going to clear away this burden that they're carrying with this Ace of Swords. Okay? This is why they're holding back from you. Four of Pentacles. See what I'm saying? What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Mm-hmm. They, they're trying to correct their wrongs. This is what this person is doing. The wrongs against you and the wrongs against the person that they had tried to reconnect with or went back to or something of the sort. They're trying to correct their wrongs here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're trying to correct them, honey. What's this? That's too many, Holy Spirit. All right. Let's get a couple of more. And then we're going to move into the advice. Okay. We're going to move into the advice. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Queen of Cups. Ooh. Where is Queen of Cups? And then we have the Three of Pentacles. They are in love with you. They want this to work here. They're, ve they're feeling very nostalgic. Okay. With the Queen of Pup Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Yes. This is marriage material. They feel as though you're marriage material. It's making me feel like they want to divorce their wife and marry you. Collect them. Because they see you as somebody that is worthy of their, 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 their love. Their devotion. They feel, they know that you love them. They know you love them. They know that you're not talking to them because of their lies and their bullshit. They know. But that don't stop them from wanting to to um, make this happen or make this work. The five of we yeah, have the five of wands and the ten of cups and the six of swords. They are fighting their way through this to get to you. Okay, there's some type of conflict in the home life here with this ten of cups. Okay, so they want to move away from this conflict towards calmer waters with the six of swords. They're moving away from this here. Okay. In order to have this Ten of Cups with you. Mm -hmm. Some of them some of them feel as though they can't manifest this reunion with you. Because of what they're dealing with. There's so much fighting and arguing with. And the connection that they're dealing with at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they keep it secret. They ain't going to tell you. They're not telling you about how they're juggling. They're in their, and they're in this up and down energy. Because they have a decision to make about you and a past person or somebody that they were dealing with or connected to or married to. Okay? They still want to hold on to you. They're going through a lot. But this nine of swords in reverse and the nine of wands in the upright, this is this is mental turmoil. Okay? They are stuck in their 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 thoughts about how to come forward towards you. But they are not going to let you go. Okay? But they, they're, they're coming out of this Nine of Swords energy because it's making me feel as though they're coming up with a plan and a strategy with this Five of Swords here, okay? Like I said, they want to win you over and they're going to do whatever it is they have to do in order to have you back in their connect in a connection with them. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. This person is pissed too. They pissed. They pissed the fuck off that this has ended. But by you ending it, bells and whistles don't lie. They are highly pissed about this. But this ending has brought a brand new beginning within the connection with you because this made this person, your person, have to face and confront their own bullshit. And when they did that, it changed them. I heard they had to die to self. This is also to an ego death with this five of swords here and this death energy. This person had to go through an ego death. Okay. In order for them to have a connection with you, this person is, is making me feel like they're putting in the work. Yeah, they want to. Mm. Yeah, they want to jump off into something new quickly with you because they're still heartbroken over you. They're heartbroken about what? The lies, the deceit, the deception that they have 
caused in this connection here. Mm-hmm. Yep, and you walked away from that ass. You walked away from that ass, eight of cups, seven of swords, because of all of these lies, deceit, and deception. Like I said, you told them the truth about the light they was trying to kick. Mm-mm. And you said she it. And when Hermit on that ass, I mean, this four of swords and Hermit is screaming all over this reading, okay? They cannot get with you. They cannot connect with you. And it's just causing all kind of turmoil in the inside of this person, heart, mind, and soul, okay? All right, let's get an advice, and then we're going to wrap this up. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, this was a serious reading. The energy is heavy. I could feel in the tone. I could, I could hear it in the tone of my voice, and I could feel it in my spirit when I'm pulling on these energies. This person is very upset with themselves about what they did to this connection with you. It's a lot of guilt and regret here. They're hiding it. They're not going to. They're not. They're not even confessing to their self or being honest with their self about how regretful they are. They're 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 keeping their mask up. Okay. Yep, they're keeping their mask up while trying to fix the brokenness within them because of the, of the decisions that they made regarding you, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for the collective regarding this connection? All right. Bottom of the deck, we have listened to your intuition. Didn't you do that? <laughs> Okay, so some of you guys, you might not feel like you want to go back to this connection with this person, not with this four of swords and hermit here. Okay, but you got to listen to your intuition if you want to give this person a second chance. Okay, because they already lied. So they already proved to the, to you that they're a liar. They're capable of lying. They're capable of lying on top of lies. They're capable of being a habitual liar. Do you really want to go back through that? Okay, some of you will, some of you won't. But you got to listen to your intuition. And they'll guide you to all truth. Yep, look for a sign. Look for a sign. Okay. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Be assertive. Okay. <laughs> and no need to worry. So with this be assertive energy, it's like keep forging forward. Okay, keep healing. Keep keep doing what you're doing in order to for you to have healing. Okay. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Be assertive and listen to your intuition. You damn right. Have faith in what you believe in. Listen to your gut. Look for a sign. Okay? Then we have no at the bottom of that. No need to worry. There's absolutely no need to worry about this person in this connection. They know what they've done. Okay? But they're the ones that's scrambling behind the scenes to try to get back in your good graces here. Okay? All right, well, I'm going to leave it right here. This is what I have for you, Collective. I hope these messages help. If they do, please drop a comment down in the comment section. Click like, share, subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.